Hey guys, this is Timmy T. I'm in downtown Campbell, California today. We are at Boogie on the Bayou, which is a historical event that goes on once a year. And they got food and uh, bands and all kinds of uh, hot ladies. So we're going to go out here and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So follow me. Hi, guys. This is me, Timmy. Um, we are here with the most lovely ladies of the whole festivities going on here in Campbell, California. First of all, what's your guys' names? I'm Sheeta, Negan, Jamie, Mary. Okay, so what's going on here um, in this whole thing? We're not like we're from Hollywood. We want to find out what's going on. Why? Why are all these people out here in the first place? Right? It's called Boogie on the Bayou. This we're is our way to celebrate summer finally yeah. starting. Yeah, this is basically the way we start summer in Campbell. So, how come all the other ladies out here don't look as hot as you guys? I mean, I'm like looking around, like you guys like stand out. You have this like aura around you, and I saw like all kinds of dudes checking you out, and like I'm like, what the heck? I don't pay no attention to them, no. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. I'm enjoying the eye candy. And she doesn't. Have she don't have a boyfriend. Don't look at that. Mm -mm. I'm enjoying the eye candy out here. <laughs> Who are these fellas you saw? You need to show there us. Some good looking guys over here, like all buff, looking at you guys. And I was like, God damn, they were watching. Okay, shooty, tall guys. I need to see and these. And they have to be yeah, like that's true. 200 pounds and six foot tall, so at least. So, like, we haven't wow. even found that yet. She's a little picky right there. I'm How about we find you guys, like, some really hunk men out here and get you one of you guys a date? Yes. She is the one. I'm She's the, single the one. one. I'm the single one. Out of all the friends, I'm the single She's one. the single one. Look at their attire. Look at how hot they look. Wait, just do a little thing for us. Check check this out. Can you, like, look at what they're wearing. I mean, and now you know why guys are checking them out. Look how hot they look. Okay, we're going to try to follow them around, so we'll keep an eye on them, and maybe we can find some, like, a hot date for her today. All right, let's go do this here in Campbell. Okay, we're looking right now. We're walking around the Campbell Festival, and I'm looking for a date for this lovely lady right here. So uh, let's see. Hey, there's a guy that's wearing the same shirt as you over there. What about him? Nice. Want to go talk to him? Yeah. Let's go talk to him. Come on, come on, come on. We're trying to find her a date. I mean, like, that's going to be hard. Really? Come on. Hey, guys. I got this lovely lady over here, and she's single, she's beautiful, and she just caught, I saw you guys wearing the same shirt. Was that planned? It was not. Heck. Do you know her? I do not. Would you like to know her? I would. <laughs> Ask her her name. What's your name? Mary. Mary. I'm AJ. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, you think she's beautiful? I do. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I do too. You think so? <laughs> Definitely. Good, good. So, uh... Shucks, shucks, you guys. You make me blush. Oh, man. She's very shy. So what are the chances of you uh, giving this guy your digits? Uh, uh, I put it on the spot. Let me see what he can do. Where are you from? Oh, can you sing? Can you do anything to impress her? I can't, I can't. Like tap dance, anything? My buddy, though, right here. Which one? Great singer. Really? Can you Come sing? Here, Come here, Joe. <laughs> Maybe he could sing to get you a date with her. Joe, will you sing to get me a date with her? What do you want me to sing? She, she, what does she want? What do you want to hear? Sing my girl. My girl, my girl, my girl. Talking. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Does that work? That's probably not good enough. Drop it, drop it. Give me some more. Give me some more. <laughs> when it's cold outside, I got the month of May. I don't think I'm going to get that date. I don't think so either. I thought you said he could sing. Uh, I thought so too. That was a comedy show, but come on, man. Shoot, I thought so. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Are we going to. You still want to look around? You're going to give him that? No, I'll give him that. He did try. He used his resources. A for effort. All right, well, it's one number. You can always toss it. I mean, you can always keep it and put it in a drawer for later. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm standing in front of the uh, home of the giant badass sausages. You can either have mild or spicy. And we have a line of people trying to get their um, mouth around these giant sausages. I know quite a few ex-girlfriends that could get their mouth around the sausage, but um, that's a different story. All right, let's keep going, come on. Still walking, all these people around me. Hey look, it's a coconut hut. I wonder if we can get her to show us her coconuts. Look. Free chair massage. These people massage chairs. What's what's involved in learning how to massage a chair? I mean, can you can we bring our own from home or what? I root for lump it already. I don't even know what the question is. 
Hey guys, me Timmy. I'm here at the festivities still going on, and I found some lovely ladies that are drinking alcohol. What is that, beer? Yes. So, uh, what's your guys' names? Laura, Erica, and Esther. So, you guys enjoying the uh, festivities out here today? Oh, absolutely. So, what did you see so far? How, I mean, how, what did you see since you've been out here? Um, we've seen all of the food, all of the beer, and the music so far has been awesome. I've seen a half-naked man running down the street earlier. Where? Oh, we missed that one. Oh. <laughs> We got to see the world's biggest sausage over here, the badass sausage. You guys see that? No. You got you make a right down here, and it's got like the it says biggest baddest sausage, and they're like that big. Yeah, we're gonna have to check that out. <laughs> did you get? Alligator. You guys ate alligator? I did. How was it? Was it tough and leathery like a shoe? Was it, it taste like a boot? It tastes like chicken. Really? Yes. Was it scaly? No. It was very chicken-like. Scale at first, you know. They, uh, they take the scales off. Hey, when pigs fly. You've heard the expression when pigs fly? Well, apparently now they can when they have a propeller attached to their butt. Come on. I'm here with these two lovely ladies that are running this organic clothing um, kiosk booth here. And we're going to ask them what's, what's the deal with the organic clothes. Why do you guys call them organic clothes? Everything is 100% sustainably um, certified, grown organically in India, all of the cotton. And it's handmade in Nepal by women there that are very dear to our hearts. We're based out of Santa Cruz, and it's a fair trade, fair labor company. Oh, I see. So is, is there something interesting about the threading or the material that you guys use as well, or no? Is it 100% organic. And, um, is it growing trees? Or, I mean, what does organic mean? I eat organic bananas. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> there's no pesticides in anything. The cotton is all grown from the ground, just completely certified organic, and... Everything is so non by women in Nepal. All of this is hand-stitched. Would I get high if I smoked it? I don't think so. No.